D Lo 404 boxing. Alright, y'all, I'm doing this one on the road. Hope the background noise ain't too bad. But I gotta get this one out. Just got off the job. Um, shout out to Trey X. He asked me what I thought about this um, situation. So um, I'm gonna respond in a video. He actually asked, well, asked me to make a video about it, so I did. Shout out to Trey X, Marlowe's Corner, and the whole block fam. Alright, so uh, Devin Haney, as we know, has you know, basically been calling out of the who's who of 135 pounds. And at one point, Lomachenko was one of the guys he was trying to fight. He made himself, he, he basically put himself in position to be Lomachenko's mandatory. Lomachenko opted to petition the WBC to make him the first ever franchise champion at 135 pounds. And that petition was granted, and Lomachenko was allowed to keep the status or gain the status as WBC franchise champion, and Devin Haney was granted the WBC title at 135 pounds, the regular title, if you will, the same title that all the other champions at 135 pounds for the WBC have held. All right, with all of that being said, since that's all happened, David Haney had, you know, a couple fights where he defended the title. He was stripped of the title, giving the title back, defended it again. And Lomachenko went on to fight Teofimo Lopez to try to unify all of the belts at 135 pounds, other than the WBC belt, in my opinion. And Lomachenko came up short. Well, now Lomachenko says he wants a rematch with Teofimo Lopez. Teofimo Lopez seems uninterested. So the question has been posed, and I've heard Bill Haney answer this question on a, on a um, live stream before. Well, what about Lomachenko? And I've heard Bill and Devin both state that, you know, Lomachenko really isn't, you know, on their radar right now. They say it this way. This is the way I'm saying it. So don't don't come to here saying I'm lying on nobody. But this is the way I'm phrasing it because I don't remember word for word. But they basically said, you know, that they're looking at trying to get these other guys in the ring. Lomachenko didn't want to fight them when they were the mandatory, so forth and so on. Kind of the same position that Errol Smith Jr. has taken with Keith Thurman. Well, I get it that Lomachenko no longer is the unified champion and maybe that's where the motivation to fight Lomachenko lied, that he was the unified champion and he had all this hype behind him and prestige behind his name and that maybe that's what made him an attractive opponent to Devin and when the fight didn't happen um, and now Lomachenko's lost to Teofimo Lopez, I can understand Devin saying, hey, I don't want you, I want the guy that beat you. Well, I don't want you, I want to knock off one of these young undefeated fighters. But at the end of the day, nobody is saying that Lomachenko isn't still a, a, a top level fighter at 135 pounds. To me, if you're running around, and, and this goes for anybody in the sport of boxing, if you're running around saying nobody wants to fight you, but then there are guys out there who are willing to fight you or people are asking you about fighting certain guys, and your answer is to deflect and bring up other situations, then don't go around saying nobody wants to fight you. Um, I mean, that's, I, I really just can't, I can't get down with that. You know, um, these guys all, every fighter that says nobody wants to fight him and they avoid it, this, that, and the other, you, you can, you can, you might as well be prepared to see three or four guys that are willing to get in the ring with them. You know, they're just not, at that, that particular time, guys, they're interested in fighting for whatever reason. Maybe they don't have the name recognition. Maybe they won't get the check that they think they'll get, or whatever the case may be. Or maybe they just desire a fight with somebody of a higher prestige, name recognition. Maybe there's a title on the line, whatever the case may be. But for these guys to be saying nobody wants to fight them, and then you hear people calling their name, and they're telling you why that's not a fight they're interested in, then, you know, both one of these things can't be true. You know what I'm saying? You got two 
you know, two diametrically opposing things trying to exist in the same space, and, and that doesn't work, you know. Either, either either somebody wants to fight you or nobody wants to fight you. It's one or the other. You know what I'm saying? It's not both. So, you know, my opinion on it is that these guys, you know, if you really want to make the fights, a Lomachenko fight is still a good fight. Lomachenko has only been beat twice. Um, you know, even though when he was originally beaten, they pretended like he was still undefeated, but the reality is he's only been beaten twice. His loss to Teofimo Lopez doesn't take away all of his accomplishments. So he's still a, a good opponent. And I feel like Devin Haney, if he's given an opportunity to fight Lomachenko, especially considering that it appears that none of the other top guys, 135 pounds, other than Javier Fatuna, are interested in fighting him, I think he should take that fight. And speaking of Javier Fatuna, I've heard Bill asked about Javier Fatuna, and his answer, his immediate answer was that Javier Fortuna has had his chances to fight and he's went out of his way not to get to, not to fight them or something like that. And I'm not saying that's his, his verbatim either. But the other thing about the whole Javier Fortuna situation is that now Javier Fortuna says he wants to fight. So if you can't get these other guys and Javier Fortuna's there, Javier Fortuna's a good enough fighter and a good enough name that I feel like Devin Haney should take that fight if given the opportunity and everything makes sense to go ahead and get, you know, put that uh, Javier Fortuna's name on his resume. Javier Fortuna, when you think about where he is at this point in his career, would probably be the best win on Devin Haynes' record by far. Um, Gamboa you know, is, is the best name on there and probably would still be the best name, but where Gamboa was at that point in his career versus where Javier Fortuna appears to be at this point in his career. Javier Fortuna would be a better win for me. That's all I got to say on the subject. D-Lo 404 Boxing. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm out.